Hi guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we want to complete the flow. Uh, if the user is on the main tab bar controller, we want to provide a way where the user is able to lock out from the app and go back to the onboarding screen. All right. So let's come over here to the tab bar controller and under item two, the second uh, view controller over here, I just want uh, I just want to embed this uh, with a navigation controller. All right, so the way I do it is to hover to the top of the menu. Uh, let me select editor and let's go to embed in and select the navigation controller. All right, when you have done that, you notice that there is a navigation controller over here, which uh, it's uh, embedded into this uh, view controller right here. So uh, also you will notice that because it's embedded with a navigation controller, you will see a nav bar over here. So what we want to do is to add a bar button item and let's click on this plus uh, library over here and let's search for bar button item. All right, let's drag this in over here to the top right and there we have a bar button item on the top right of the navigation bar and let's just uh, rename this to lockout okay so that looks uh, good to me all right we also need to create a file to integrate with this view so let's come over to the controller folder and let's right click and select new file and here we want to select a swift file and probably for this page, I want to call it a settings the view controller. All right, so let's hit the create button. And uh, over here, same thing we want to do is to import UI kit. Let's create the class over here. You'll be you call it settings view controller. And this settings view controller will inherit UI view controller. All right, same thing uh, over here. We're going to type in view the load. And then super dot view the load. Oops, sorry, super dot view the load. Okay, and also we want to create a private function called setup views, and we're just gonna do the same thing by putting in a background color to just ensure that uh, we get to integrate this uh, successfully. So for this time, I'm just gonna set the background as gray, and I'll put this method in the view the load um, under the view the load method. All right, let's save this and let's copy this settings view controller text over here. Let's go back to the main.storyboard and in this view controller, all right, let's select this. Let's come over here to the identity uh, inspector. Yeah, that's what it's called. And in the class, I'm just gonna paste the settings view controller here and hit the enter button. All right, you'll notice that the travel uh, uh, word here is shown when this is done correctly. All right, so let's... Um, run the app and let's see if uh, this is if this works but before we do that let's come over to the uh, loading view controller and ensure that user uh, is user locked in uh, is set to true okay so let's run the app right now and let's see what the simulator shows us okay so it so now we are on the main tab bar controller and if i click on item two yep notice that the background is gray so we know that this is done correctly so uh, let's come over to the settings view controller and let's create a ib uh, action so let's do add ib action uh, func and let's do a lockout button tab all right and also over here we want to do underscore sender and this will be of type ui uh, bar button item all right so uh, this is the way where we want to handle the uh, the action when the uh, lockout button is being tapped all right we're just gonna type in print over here and we're gonna type in lockout over here and let's come over to our storyboard which is the main storyboard over here and let's ensure that we connect this uh, IB action. And the way we're going to do it is that we're we are going to click on this settings view controller uh, on top over here. And let's right click over here. And you'll see this window uh, opening up. And if you scroll, okay, you don't have to scroll. It's right here, <laughs> lockout button tab. All right, because we have typed in this, um, we can actually click onto this plus button and drag it to the bar button item. Just let go and this will be connected. All right, so if I go back to the settings view controller, you will notice that this is connected because you see a solid uh, circle right here. Uh, if this is not connected correctly, this will be a hollow circle. All right, so let's just run this uh, app right now and let's click on the lockout button 
and I should see the console printing out the uh, the keyword lockout over here all right so as I click on the lockout button you notice that uh, the console is printing this out so that means that this is good all right so what do we want to do over here so once the user click the lockout button we want to bring the user back to the onboarding page so in the same way uh, you notice that we don't have any segue or any arrows that is pointing back to the onboarding uh, page the onboarding view controller over here so we're gonna do sorry this one the onboarding view controller over here so we're gonna do the same method that we did for the main tab bar controller uh, and the way is that we're going to come over here to the identity inspector and under the sorry about ID we're going to type in onboarding onboarding view controller all right so let me just click on that again and let's copy this over here and let's go back to the settings view controller and we're going to repeat the same steps that we um, that we used uh, previously so we're going to do let onboarding view controller equals to UI storyboard and then let's initiate the storyboard so you remember that we did k dot storyboard id dot main and the bundle is nil and dot initialize view controller and we have to pass in the identifier all right so remember that uh, <laughs> we were doing this previously by putting in the string over here so what we can do over here is that we can come to the constant file and then under the storyboard ID we can do static let and let's paste that in let's make this a small letter O and then let's paste this ID right here okay so let's save this let's go back and same thing we then the same thing we can do which is to type in the the constant k dot storyboard id dot uh, onboarding view controller all right same thing we're gonna we're gonna come over to loading view controller and then we need this uh, scene delegate in fact what we need is actually this window and the window is actually in the uh, scene delegate so we're gonna copy this and come over to settings view controller and let's just paste this in and uh, we don't no longer need this main tab bar controller because this was from the previous uh, file that we pasted that we copied from sorry so we're just going to copy this and put it right in here so if you can see this this is um we have actually quite a bit of duplicated code over here so of course this piece of code is going to work but again it's not going to be the most ideal which we will refactor uh probably at a, at a subsequent time but let's just quickly run the uh simulator now to check if this is working as intended all right so let's build the simulator now and i'll let this guy run okay so right now let's go to item 2 and let's click on the lockout button and yes i'm back on the onboarding screen all right so i i noticed that the uh, transition could be a little abrupt right so you see that it just goes back without any kind of animation so one thing we can do is that we can actually uh, add some kind of animation as well so over here below we can type in UI view dot any dot transition transition with window duration let's set it as 0 0.25 under the options let's call it transition cross dissolve and under the animation we can uh, just pass in uh, nail and then within the completion itself uh, we can just pass in nail as well all right so i believe this will still work uh, okay let's just run the app and let's check it out let's come over to item 2 and let's click the lockout button and you notice that there's quite a nice transition that brings us back to the onboarding button all right guys i'll see you in the next video uh, which we will do some refactoring all right see ya